Hi, Allison Bales here. I've got something interesting for you today. You probably have a name that you call something like this. Something that you can put a piece against a piece of glass and make it stick, right? Something that sticks to the glass. When you pull that handle, you can likewise take two of them, put them together like this, and close them at the same time <clears throat> and they stick together really hard you can pull them apart but it takes a lot of force to pull them apart what's going on there this common name for this is suction cup but that's the wrong name that is the wrong name what is going on here let me show you up close so on the inside you can see there's a circle right here so there's the outer edge and then it's there's a bevel right there and then uh, this circle right here is, is in, uh, inset. And when I move this handle, it pulls on the center right here. So it's pulling this, this circle farther in. So when I have this against the piece of glass or against another one of these suction cups, what's happening is I've got a seal around the edge I've got, um, well, I, if I have a seal around the edge and I do this properly, what happens is I am keeping the same amount of air in there, but I have increased the volume that that air occupies. By increasing the volume that that air occupies, I have lowered the pressure because the pressure is related to the amount of air in a space or a gas of any sort. I've got a set amount of air in there. I've increased the volume. Now I suddenly have a lower pressure in there. If I double the volume, I have cut the pressure in half and the outside pressure hasn't changed. There's still one atmosphere of pressure out here. And that atmosphere of pressure pressing against the lower pressure inside, let's say half an atmosphere, if I've cut it in half, makes it really hard to pull this apart and it makes it stick to that glass. People can use, well, this is kind of a toy demonstration one, but people use this kind of suction cup to climb up glass buildings sometimes. But it's not really suction, it's a difference in air pressure, not suction.